okay? Typically, if you're going to do just the radiator, you're only going to need about one gallon, 1.1 gallon of um, red pink antifreeze coolant, okay? It's, it's, it's going to note on there, it says Lexus on there. Any brand you get, okay, it's going to say Lexus in there, okay? It's going to be the red pink um, one gallon. And I bought this for about 20 bucks. You can get this at any uh, AutoZone, Pet Boys, or wherever you guys shop at, okay? Um, remember, you're going to need one gallon minimum maybe 1.1 okay you're going to need a pair of pliers you might not need a pair of pliers because um, your your peacock screw might be a little too tight so always have this handy you are going to need some paper towels paper towels because I'm going to show you in a little bit why you're going to need the paper towels you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket with a 2 inch extension okay with a ratchet wrench okay you're also going to need an oil drain pan if you like your uh, life to be more difficult then you could use a funnel and I don't know a, a empty bottle of canola oil or something but I'm gonna use my drain pan okay so uh, first things first let's get to work okay first things first you're gonna wanna um, level up your car as you can tell uh, I have mine jacked up in the back only because my driveway is slanted downward on the decline I even have a leveler right there just to make sure uh, my car is either leveled or pointing towards the front. And I'm going to tell you why you need to point it towards the front. It has to do with the angle of where your peacock and the drain hole is. Okay, so you want everything to drain to the front, not to the back like this. Okay, either, either keep your car leveled or paint or towards the front just a tiny bit. And let me show you the peacock screw. Now if you follow me and go right through the driver's side wheel well, you're going to see a yellow peacock screw and let me show you up close on why you need your car on an angle. Okay, so if you follow my fingers, here's the yellow peacock screw that you're going to unscrew. Okay, underneath here you're going to have a round cap. This round cap allows you to drain your coolant through here and let it come out without having to take off your your bottom guard right here okay you do not want to take off this bottom guard it's just way too much work okay so the reason why I have my car in an incline instead of going down this way is because once you release the screw because of gravity your coolant is going to shoot that way flow that way and it's going to entirely miss the hole the hole is right here the angle of the hole is right here so you want everything to drip this way and then flow down this ramp and through this hole. But if you have it on a perfect um, driveway and it's completely leveled, then the water will, the coolant will drip straight down, okay? So that's why. I'm going to show you what this hole looks like in a minute. So now if you follow me through my wheel well right here, remember there's your yellow peacock right there, your yellow peacock. If you go straight down here, you're going to see this rubber cap. It's a round rubber cap that all you have to do is remove it and your coolant will fall right out through here, okay? Everything is going to work to gravity. Uh, once, the, once you remove that screw, it's going to drip down and straight down into that hole. That is why I want my car on a ramp, okay, with the Ford facing this way and the, my butt sticking up so the water could drip down this ramp right here. And once it hits this ramp, it's just going to flow down into that rubber cap okay so we're going to remove that rubber cap we're going to remove this yellow screw but we're also going to remove the caps that's also under the hood first okay so let's do this in order okay first things first let's go ahead and put your paper towels right here let's take the cap of your coolant tank reservoir right here and let's lay this right here okay uh, you're going to want to keep your 10 millimeter socket ready and handy to go right here you're going to want to remove your radiator cap you got to vent it, okay, set everything up there. Next, your radiator uh, tank right here is going to have three 10 millimeter bolts, okay, and this is why I asked you to use a uh, two inch extension. You're going to have one right here, you're going to have one down here, let me show it to you really quick here, okay, you're going to have one right here and one down there right here you're not going to be able to miss okay once you peek your head in there and you're going to have one right here okay so let's go ahead and loosen those up right now while you guys uh sit tight 
you're not going to have to need to use um, this the whole entire time just to break it loose you, then you could use your hands to loosen the rest okay and this two inch extension um, you're really going to need once you get to the bottom right here because this thing is in the way right here you got quite a few things in the way so this 10 millimeter um, and the two inch extension really comes in handy okay so remember two inch in extension is a perfect one all right so let's go ahead and remove the bottom bolt once you remove the bottom bolt, you're going to go over to the side over here and you're going to take off your two inch extension and you're going to remove this bolt. Okay, just break it loose. Once you break it loose, you can do the rest by hand. Just be wary that your coolant tank is full. So uh, once you let go of it, all the coolant is going to fall out. So use your left hand to hold on to the coolant tank. Okay. Once you remove this last bolt right here on the side right here, you're going to want to take your coolant tank and you're going to want to dump it. Oops, it fell down. You're going to want to dump this whole entire thing inside your um, oil drain pan. You go ahead and dump all your old coolant. I know it looks brand new, guys, but it's a little murky, so it's murky. All right, cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this transmission thingamajig back where it belongs since we already emptied it out, okay? Put the screws back on. I know I dropped one of the screws, so I'm gonna have to go pick it up. I'm not gonna bother you with uh, filming that portion unless you got nothing better to do, like you're a low life degenerate bored with life and wants to be away from your wife and just watch dumb YouTube videos all day long. But you put your canister back on and go ahead and screw and tighten your 10 millimeter bolt that you already taken out previously, okay? Just remember, there's one here, there's one right there, and there's gonna be one at the bottom on the passenger side, okay? Just three 10 millimeter bolts. Make sure you tighten them up. Once you tighten them up, you're gonna wanna put this cap back on. You don't want any debris to fall in and just leave it right there. Okay, right after you're done screwing your uh, reservoir tank back in, you're going to go to the front of the car. You're going to lie down. You're going to look directly underneath the driver's seat right there. You see that right there? I got my oil drain pan ready to go. I got a piece of cardboard right here just in case I get splatter. What I'm going to want to do is I'm going to remove this rubber cap right here. It's going to be on the driver's side, okay? So just grab any kind of tool or whatever, or if you want to use your sharp fingernails to remove this, that'd be fine. Unless you just got like a gay ass manicure or something, then don't do that. Use a flathead, okay? So this is it right here. And this is where your coolant's going to be draining out of, okay? So let's go ahead and go to the wheel well right now, right here, and check out the peacock screw as it drains, okay? So remember how I told you, you might need a pair of pliers. This is only if you're not able to unscrew this peacock by hand. So let's try it by hand first. Oh, it came out pretty easily. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it counterclockwise and let it drain out. Oops, there, let it drain out. And as you could tell, it's draining straight through the hole. You see that? You're gonna get some splatter right there. It's gonna drain straight out that hole. Nice, okay. I'm going to start loosening it some more, let it drain out some more, beautiful, look at that red pinkish color, red and pink, uh, man, some of the people that you go down on, it's not red and pink, it looks like, like Arby's roast beef down there, but that that'll be for another video so here we go it's it's draining fairly well okay yeah I don't think you're gonna even need to remove the whole entire thing guys all it did is just let it come out a lot quicker a lot faster but if you look down here see down there it's draining pretty well and if you see a puddle right here it's also draining through a little tiny drain hole down there um, let me see if I could show you see that 
it's got two little drain holes right there so it's coming out pretty good so let's go ahead and continue to let it completely drain out once it completely drains out we're going to go ahead and put back this peacock i just said cock i'm so sorry guys this is a family channel i'm going to put back this screw and we're going to end up uh, filling up the radiator with our brand new coolant okay we'll check out how many um, gallons it's going to take but it shouldn't take more than 1.1 gallons cool all right guys the coolant is down to its final drizzle and drip. I am going to close this bad boy back up. Okay, I've, I've had enough watching this thing. Just drizzle out of here. I got things to do, people to see. Uh, who am I kidding? I got nobody to see. I'm a lonely hermit. Seriously need a girlfriend. Okay, just, just close this up. Do not use any tools to close this up, guys. It's got a rubber gasket in there and everything. Just hand tighten it for now. You don't want to overthread this. If you overthread this, you're screwed. You're going to have to buy a brand new friggin' bon radiator, okay? So just hand tighten it really good. Okay, your next step, uh, as you can totally tell, I made a big mess, okay? So go ahead and move your oil pan out of the way. Once you move your oil pan out of the way, you're gonna have a lot of access to clean all this up with, it's really important to clean all this up because you don't know what this coolant's gonna do to any of your, your, your rubber gaskets and your rubber boots and all that. And you know, over a, 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 an extended period of time, it's, it's just going to uh, degrade some of the material underneath here and you don't know what it's gonna do. I don't know the science behind it. Like I said, I, I ain't no Einstein. Okay, so make sure you clean it up really good. I'd clean in here if I were you. Clean up really good because you have no idea who might come in and, and rent out your motel room right afterwards. They might own a black light and see all the crap that you've been doing with the three prostitutes you brought home. Okay, so clean it up really good, guys. All right. Good job, Bob. Okay, here comes the fun part. We are going to start with one gallon and check this out. All right, here we go. We're gonna not use a funnel, okay? Cause a uh, funnel are for sissy boys and we are not sissy boys because we own GXs. We're just gonna toss it in just like this. Woo, you guys could use a funnel if you guys want to cause I'm pretty sure 50% uh, of my viewers are sissy boys. Um, if you guys don't know what a sissy boy is, it, it's, it's, yeah, we'll save that for another video. I don't want to get into it right here and right now. I might get more dislikes like I normally do whenever I start mentioning gay ass shit on my videos and that's not good. Hey, but the, the people that actually do like my videos and you guys are pretty cool and, and have thick skins and stuff. Hey, I appreciate you guys, man. You guys are pretty awesome. You guys have a sense of humor. You guys uh, are able to take the good with the bad. Um, but here we go. Look at this. Um, it's taking, hopefully it takes one gallon. Because I really, really don't want to open up another bottle. I don't kind of want to go and return and get my 20 bucks back. Because I'm a cheap bastard. Like probably most of you. Um, hey, I heard some of you guys have a 2019, 2020 and shit like that. I'm like, what the fuck? You guys got money growing out of your ass? Or are you guys like uh, doing a 15-year a lease or something? What the hell? So anyways, I'm not here to, to show the jealous side of me. I, I am very fortunate and grateful that um, that I, I, I have a 8-inch cock. That's for one. And number two, I have a fairly new uh, Lexus GX460. And I'm able to uh, have some decent money to play around with it that I'm very grateful for otherwise this video or this channel wouldn't exist this channel exists because uh, mainly because a lot of you guys um, actually showed interest in it and it only made me want to um, want to do more and more and more but but don't comment and ask me to do stupid shit like uh, do an engine rebuild because I'm not going to do that I'm not going to take off my bumper and put on some freaking rhinoceros bumper. No, this, this shit is only going to see the parking lot of a shopping mall, man. Come on. It's a Lexus. Why the fuck would I spend 60 grand 
and take my car off-roading and, and jumping off cliffs. Do you think I'm fucking retarded or something? God damn, I'm already halfway done with this bottle and it's still going. Just remember, guys, we are also filling up our... Oh, don't tell me it's done. It's going, it's going. Okay. Okay, let's stop right there. Woo! What we also want to check out, guys, is we want to check out down here to see if we have any leakage, okay? Leakage that my 72-year-old dad is going through right now, and he might need adult diapers. So we do not need leakage, okay? So always check your peacock to see if there's any leaks. Check down here to see if there's any leak, okay? Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and fill up our uh, coolant reservoir. Go ahead and take this back out. Put it on your paper towel that you had lying around here. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill this up. I'm not gonna fill it up to the full line, guys. Not just yet. I wanna see how much more I need to uh, fill up the radiator with after I start my engine. Remember, we're gonna start our engine, let it heat up. Uh, I'm gonna fill it up maybe 75% and stop right there. Okay, let's just play it safe. If I learn anything, maybe you guys will learn anything and maybe you guys will do better than me, okay? But for now, I'm just going to run it 75%, okay? Look at that, I'm missing a damn screw. I still can't find it, damn it. Ah, oh, God damn it. So let's go back and check our radiator, okay? Our radiator is still full, so what do you think we're going to do right now? We are going to start the engine and heat it up, okay? So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to start it up. You guys can actually hear how my V8 sounds uh, with my twin turbo, okay? At this point, I'm gonna wanna put my cap back on because once I start my engine, it is going to shoo, splatter all over the place, okay? So let's just close it just semi-tight, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and start it up really quick so you guys can hear my twin turbo here. Bam, look at that. Look at the sound of that sucker. All right, we're going to let it warm up just a little bit. 24 hours later. Okay, guys, it's been 15 minutes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shut off the engine, and we're going to check it out. Let's check out the level here. All righty. So what I'm doing is, uh, while all this was happening, I was checking my peacock to make sure there's no drips, okay? Uh, normally you would want to get your fingers around it to see if there's any moisture or drips around there. Um, you also want to make sure uh, you continue to clean down there, okay? So um, no leakage so far. Everything was hand tightened. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the cap. I want to show you what it looks like inside once I open this up, okay? It's cool to the touch, okay? Little air pressure. Nothing to be alarmed about. Check this out, guys. It went down. Wow. So let's see how much it went down by. So let's go ahead and pour some more. Do, 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 do. It went down significantly more. Oh, there you go. Uh, maybe I'm going to say uh, three cups. Eh, three cups. I hear it bubbling. I hear it trying to get down more. It's making gulping sounds. Okay, it's done gulping and it's staying at the top level right here. Let me show you one more time. It's still at the top level right there. It's at the level that I want. But guess what? I am going to go ahead and um, start the engine one more time and let it run for another 15 minutes just to make sure, okay? If, uh, if I find out that it doesn't drop anymore, then you guys can go ahead and skip this uh, next step and just go ahead and cap off everything, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start the engine and do it all over again just to make sure. Okay, I went ahead and let the car run for another 15 minutes to warm it up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this, open this up and check out the fluid level here and check this out just as I thought it'd be, it's completely full. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, fill up the reservoir to full right now. And 
and call it a day. So um, just sit tight. I want to tell you some of my lessons learned along the way. Um, let me pour this in really full, all the way up to the full line. You guys know where the full line, right? It's the line that says F. Uh, F doesn't mean fuck you. That means full. So fill it up to the full line. You're good to go. Put this back on. Close it up. Um, I'm probably going to continue looking for this 10 millimeter screw. It's somewhere down there. But um, so let's go check out, check this out. Okay, so finally, that was a very successful radiator flush and fill, guys. Um, uh, don't forget to go back underneath the car and put back this uh, rubber gasket, rubber cover right here, okay? Um, that along with um, some lessons learned. So, number one, it took less than one gallon to fill your radiator and your coolant reservoir. I'm still going to go ahead and run this car um, a couple of times and drive it and then come back and check um, the radiator once more just to make sure but so far I've ran it twice for 15 minute intervals and both um, were pretty good towards the end okay so since I have a full jug of uh, coolant right here I'm gonna go ahead and it's about 10 pounds guys it's really heavy so I'm going to go ahead and send it to anybody that can actually answer me um, a couple of questions. So as you guys know, I've had quite a few generations of Lexus GXs. Um, uh, I started out with the Lexus GX 470. If you guys in the first line, the first, first person that can answer this and comment, okay? If you guys can answer what color um, was one of my Lexus GX 470 2008. I had two of them. You could choose either color, doesn't matter. Um, it's in my earlier videos. <clears throat> in my earlier videos, all you have to do on the first line of my comments is tell me what color that was. On the second line of your same comment, I want you to state the color of my 2011 GX460, okay? Um, I'm not going to answer any questions on my recent 2017 because I'm pretty sure you guys uh, seen them all. Okay, so 2008 and 2011, I had two. I had each of those. What color were they? The first person that can comment on that, um, shoot me, uh, shoot it in the comment section. I'm going to go down uh, the list until I find the correct answer. Once I get the correct answer, I'll shoot. I'll hit you up with uh, an address or something, or a phone number or email address, and. Then, we can exchange phone numbers or, or whatever information and I will send you a brand new bottle of uh, Lexus coolant. Okay? Thank you for watching guys. Peace.